Two teenagers accused of carrying out a violent carjacking spree face more than 30 charges combined. Police say Kashan Wortman and Nadika argue terrorized innocent drivers across the Twin Cities last month. There are only two suspects in a problem that has rattled our sense of safety. But what happens after the accused get caught? WCCO Jennifer Merrily is tracking their cases to find out. Kashan Wortman and Nautica argue, each with more than a dozen felony charges against them. Accused of carjacking unsuspecting people across the Twin Cities over 10 days in January. The string of carjackings, thefts, and robberies in St. Louis Park, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and at least 12 other communities. Call the police! One attempted carjacking caught on camera outside an Edina daycare. A mom confronted while picking up her child. The charging documents detail the crimes, force threatened in many of the cases. A mother's keys and car forcibly taken outside a middle school during a basketball game. Assaults outside a shopping center. A carjacking in Brooklyn Center where a victim was punched in her face. Police say the duo ID'd in part by surveillance video, pictures posed in stolen vehicles, and distinctive clothing that matched posts on social media. Police arrested the two on January 18th after a chase in a stolen Audi and booked them into the Hennepin County Jail. 19-year-old Argu pushed her omnibus hearing to the end of March. That's a pretrial hearing where a judge will determine if there's enough evidence to move forward. A plea could also be entered. During Wortman's virtual hearing, the 18-year-old said he wants a speedy trial and told the judge he's just trying to get to sentencing. That has to happen within 60 days, with a jury trial set for April 18th. During Wortman's hearing, his attorney noted prosecutors told them additional charges are pending. Both remain in custody here at the Hennepin County Jail. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Minneapolis has seen two dozen more carjackings so far this year compared to this time last winter. St. Paul has seen a drop. Police can't say if that's because of a specific arrest, but they say it is possible.